History of my oldest ancestors of whom I am very proud descend. September 22, 1155, Afonso VIII, my 27th, 28th and 30th grandfather, is born, King of Castile, father-in-law of Dom Afonso II, King of Portugal, grandfather of King Dom Afonso III of Portugal, my 25th and 26th grandfather. Alfonso VIII, King of Castile married Eleanor Plantagenet, Princess of England, my 27th, 28th and 30th grandmother, sister of the Kings of England, Richard Lionheart and John Landless. Afonso VIII, King of Castile, the noble, or the Novas, was born in Soria, on September 22, 1155, and died on October 6, 1214, he was the son of Sancho III, the desired, King of Castile and Branca Infanta de Navarra, paternal grandson of Alfonso VII, the Emperor, King of Leon and Castile and of Berengaria of Barcelona, and maternal grandson of Garcia Ramirez IV, King of Pamplona and Navarre and of Margarida de Elagel. Alfonso VIII, King of Castile, called the noble or the Novas, was King of Castile and Toledo from 1158 until his death. He is mainly remembered for his role in the Reconquista, leading to the fall of the Armohad Caliphate. After a heavy defeat in the Battle of Alacos, he led a coalition of Christian forces in the Battle of Novas de Tolosa, an event that marked the beginning of Christian supremacy in the Iberian Peninsula. His reign was also marked by Castile's dominance over Leon and the alliance with Aragon, making his kingdom the most powerful in the region. Afonso VIII is also the grandfather of two kings recognized as saints by the Catholic Church, São Luís and São Fernando. Ancestry and Childhood Son of Sancho III of Castile and Blanca, Infanta of Navarre, Alfonso VIII was the paternal grandson of Alfonso VII of Leon and Castile and Berengaria of Barcelona, and maternal grandson of King Garcia Ramirez of Pamplona and Margarida de Elagel, therefore, descendant of Dom Rodrigo Diaz de Biva, El Cid Campador, my 31st grandfather, five times my grandfather. In 1157, King Alfonso VII died, and, at the time of his death, he divided the kingdom between his two sons, bequeathing Castile to his firstborn Sancho and Leo to Fernando. The two once united kingdoms now had different political objectives, despite the Treaty of Sahagan, May 23, 1158, celebrated by the two brothers, which established the collaboration of the two kingdoms and the division of territories conquered from Portugal and the Moors. Sancho III of Castile died on August 31, 1158, aged 23. Afonso, the young king's only legitimate son, ascended the throne at just three years old. The young king served as a pawn in the hands of the two great nobility parties that vied for power in Castile, the Laras and the Castros. Furthermore, his uncle Fernando II also claimed the regency of the kingdom, a situation that almost led to a civil war. Reign and Reconquista Thus, since her adolescence she had to fight to regain her kingdom. He took the city of Toledo by surprise, then in the hands of the Castilian nobility. In 1170, at age 15, he marries his nine-year-old bride, Eleanor Plantagenet, Princess of England, my 27th, 28th and 30th grandmother, daughter of Henry II of England and Eleanor of Aquitaine, sister of Richard of Lionheart and John Landless, Kings of England. In 1174, the Order of Santiago based itself in the town of Eucles, from where it began a campaign that culminated in the reconquest of Cuenca in 1177. The city surrendered on September 21, 1177, on the day of St. Matthew, which also became the day of this city. Understanding the advantages of an alliance against the common Armohad enemy, he negotiated with all the Christian kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula and managed to sign the Treaty of Cazola, 1179, with Alfonso II of Aragon, to share the territories to be reconquered. After refounding the city of Plasencia in 1186, conquered from the Moors, he relaunched the Reconquista movement with the aim of also unifying the Castilian nobility in his cause, and recovered part of La Rioja from the possession of Navarre. After the truce with the Armohad Caliphate broke in 1195, Afonso went to help the city of Alarcos, today the royal city, at that time the most important enclave in the region. In the battle that followed, he was defeated by Caliph Abu Yukuf Ayakub al Manka and lost the entire region. Castile's border with the Armohad Empire remained in the Mantes de Toledo for 17 years, threatening the city of Toledo itself and the Tagus River Valley region. 
until in 1212, with the mediation of Pope Innocent III, a crusade was called with the aim of defeating the Almohad power. Pedro II of Aragon, Sancho VII of Navarre, and an army of his son-in-law, Dom Afonso II King of Portugal, my 26th and 27th grandfather, in addition to the military orders of Santiago, Calatrava, Templars, and Hospital, answered the call. Afonso Nono de Leo, in conflict with Castile and Portugal, did not join his forces to the Christian army, but some Leonese knights joined the crusade on their own. Starting with the conquest of Calatrava, then Alarcos and Bonavente, the campaign ended in a decisive victory at the Battle of Navas de Tolosa, on 16 July, 1212 against the Almohad Caliph Muhammad Nasser, and the recovery of the territories of the Guadiana River Valley. Alfonso VIII died on October 5, 1214, and was buried together with his wife in the monastery of Las Huelgas in Burgos, pantheon of the kings of Castile. Contributions to Culture Afonso VIII's court would have been an important cultural instrument, welcoming troubadours and wise men, especially due to the influence of his wife Eleanor of England, with whom he would have a true love relationship. The monarch would also have been the founder of the first Studium Generali, University of the Iberian Peninsula, in Palencia. However, this institution will not have survived long after his death. Afonso VIII, Leonor, and the Jewish witch. The General Chronicle of Spain says that, in 1170, Alfonso VIII was already a man, he was 12 years old, when his ambassadors brought the daughter of King Henry II of England, Eleanor, to marry him. She was nine years old. Soon after his marriage, the king was in Toledo when he met and fell in love with a Jewish woman, probably from a wealthy family, as in Toledo Jewish women enjoyed great economic independence. Afonso was so in love with that Jewish witch that he forgot Leonor, his kingdom, himself and everything else. Archbishop Rodrigo said he was enclosed with her for seven months, and some say that this great love he had for this Jewish woman was nothing more than because of the spells she knew how to do. The counts, knights and rich men of Castile, seeing the kingdom in great danger, beheaded her. Afonso was inconsolable. One night, when he was thinking about that accursed woman, a miracle happened, an angel appeared to him, who reprimanded him and told him that he would not have a son to reign, as God would punish him. When he left, the king was very sad and the royal chamber was filled with a wonderful odor and great clarity. For this sin, King Afonso VIII, a very honorable man, very noble and of great understanding, liberal and a lover of justice, was defeated in Alarcos. This is the chronicler's understanding, a typical medieval understanding of historical processes. Furthermore, according to the chronicle, the Christians were also defeated because the Castilian nobles did not exert themselves as they should in battle. Also the novel Die Juden von Toledo, the Jewess of Toledo, by Lion Fuchtwanger, 1955, which tells the story of a Jewish woman in medieval Toledo, considered the capital of knowledge and tolerance between Christians, Muslims, and Jews, has Afonso VIII as a character and sovereign of the city. Offspring from the marriage of Alfonso VIII, King of Castile, my 27th, 28th and 30th grandfather, in 1176, in Burgos with Eleanor Plantagenet, Princess of England, my 27th, 28th and 30th grandmother, daughter of Henry II of England and Eleanor of Aquitaine, sister of Richard the Lionheart and John Landless, Kings of England, at least 10 children were born. Berengaria of Castile Queen Consort of Alfonso IX King of Leon and Castile, my 26th, 27th and 29th grandmother. Sancho, died at three months of age. Sancha. Dona Iraca of Castile, my 27th grandmother, Queen Consort and wife of Dom Afonso II, King of Portugal. Blanche of Castile, Queen Consort of Louis VIII of France and founder of the Morbison Monastery of the Cistercian Order. Fernando. Mafalda. Dona Leonor of Castile, Queen Consort of James I of Aragon. Henry I of Castile, who succeeded him on the throne, married Dona Mafalda, Infanta of Portugal. Constanca, nun and lady of the monastery of Las Huelgas in Burgos.